Hello. What I'm going to do today is to show you how to enter new results into HowlSale, the online version of Howl's Race results. So here you see the normal HowlSale screen. I've already logged in with my account up here and um, I'm going to enter some results by using the result menu, enter or edit new results. Here we are. Now the results that I have ready um, obviously it's only a demonstration but they are for Thursday the 1st of June. Here we are and you can see that on Thursday the 1st of June I have four result, four races scheduled. One um, at 7 o'clock for flying 15s, one at 5 past 7 for lasers, one at 10 past 7 which is for a dinghy handicap fleet and one at quarter past 7 for a small catamaran handicap fleet. Now let's assume that all of these races have, have been run and here I am putting the results in immediately after I've come off the water with my sheet of res results showing which boats crossed the line at what time. So here we are, we'll select all four races because we're going to input all of the results at one time. And you will notice a couple of things. First of all, um, I can edit the start time because of course not all races always start on time so if they started late for any reason I can edit the start time here. Um, if I had done this before I went out on the water to run the race I could have printed off some very handy um, round sheets. For instance this would be a round sheet for the Flying 15 class which would allow you to input the details of the race, the start time, the number of starters, the wind and so on. Um, allow you to click off, uh, tick off the boats that were eligible, i.e. the boats that were in that particular class before the start. Um, note any boats that were OCS, DSQ, etc. And note the sail numbers as they came round on, um, round through the finishing line on each round of the course and at the finish. Another thing which is quite useful to do before the start is that. Um, you can have how sales show you what the starting sequence of flags and guns would be for that for these particular races. So here we are. You see it brings up a sheet which you could print off before you go out on the water showing that at 1855 you need to show the class flag for the flying 15s. Um, 1856 <coughs> the preparatory flag goes up. 1859 the preparatory flag comes down. 7 o'clock the class flag goes down for the flying 15s and the one for the lasers goes up, etc. But here we are after the race and we're going to enter some results. So here we are, we'll click enter results. And the first boat across the line was sail number 145, one of the dinghies. Here it is, enter result. And he finished at 20.01.53. There he is, 20.01.53. Next came 365, which I can either do by selecting him down in the list here, or I can just enter his sail number into the search box at the top. 365, there we are. And he was a flying 15. Now, He's not in a handicap race, we don't need a time for him, we just need to know that he was the first flying 15 over the line. Here he is, place one, save. Next next one was 436, 436, another flying 15, and here we are, Hal Sale knows that he was the second boat in that particular class, so he's in place number two, save. Next boat across the line was 3561. Here we are, one of the dinghies again, and he finished at 20.02.53. Followed by 7534. 20.03.50. Next one was 256. Here we are, and he's the first of our catamarans. He finished at 20.04.10. Next, 4.596. At 
0435. Now I'll just uh, turn off the video a moment and enter a few more results. Then I'll be back when I have um, down when I'm down to the last one or two. And here we are. I've entered quite a few more boats now, as you can see. Um, but I'm just down to the last two. The last, the penultimate one is one nine seven five six four. Here we are, a laser. But let's suppose that um, he didn't actually finish the race. So rather than give him fourth place, we're going to set his status to DNF. Here we are. Save him. And there he is, you see. Laser 197564 DNF. And then the final one I have on my list here is a cadet finishing at 20, 2010. So now I've input all my results and I now want to have a look, check that everything's OK and then maybe make a printout. So here we are. I've clicked print or print review or print results and here we can see the list of um, races that we just put in some results for. We can uh, review any of them. We can print either the race results or the series results or we can send the tweet out on the on the HAL Twitter feed to um, give everybody a link to the results that we've just posted. But let's suppose that we first of all we want to have a review of the results of the Flying 15 class. Here we, here we go. I'll click on review here and you can see that here we are. We have just input this set of results um, on the 1st of June um, and we have input five boats finishing in that particular race. If there's a problem with any of those results, we can easily go in and, in and edit it. Or if one of the other boats in the class um, should have been entered, we can enter his result now by just clicking on the, on the button here. Let's suppose we want to make a printout of the results of the dinghy race. Click here. And here we go. Um, all set up to make a printout to put on your notice board of the results of the dinghy, dinghy race on the 1st of June. And that's all there is to it really. You've um, input your results. Uh, they are available to be printed out and of course they're now on the web so um, anybody with a link to HAL Sale can, um, can see them directly. Thank you very much.